On ClipChamp, you will be wondering how to introduce text to your video clips and that will be a nice way to either introduce yourself or introduce a topic that maybe, you know, can be visually stunning or engaging. Um, there are two ways but you can actually introduce that to your video style. One way is by on the left side of your screen, you have this T icon underneath has text on it. Once you click on it, you have diverse ways of introducing a title to your video and anyone that has that feel to it can be of great interest to you. One of the good things about this is that it can be introduced in categories like for example, you have the intro, outro style to you have special takes like for example, you have like text that someone actually said or a quote or uh, you have other ways like captions like for example subtitles uh, and many more alongside two lines where you have one major title versus a minor title accompanied and next is just that little titles that has some flashy take on them like for example make it glow can be one of them you can have the fade version you can have smoke and one cool thing about this text as well for the, the preview is amazing so the amazing preview features that this clip champ has enables you to see what to put down before you actually put it into your timeline and take note here like for example, if I want to write a title in the form of a typewriter style, you can just click hold and drag to the timeline of interest. In this case, I'm going to put it right above the image. By that way, I can now manipulate the result here by going to the right side of your screen. You have text, you can have this here which shows you what style you want your text to be either you want it in this style or a different take that is up to you and so by editing all you have to do is just click here and edit to whatever title you want like for example you can say our glass and that is one way by which you can accomplish this also you can it maybe double click but that doesn't work here so that is not the case in terms of editing your text so that is one cool thing to keep in mind now another one here is in terms of color you can change the color to whatever color that you want there are diverse ways you can add a brand color of your choice but this takes you to the upgrade version of this software another one here is the positioning you can of course drag it to however position you want or you can use this alongside changing the size either blowing it up or compressing as well as using this as well for compress uh, stretching or compressing um, fading is another cool one by which you can fade in fade out depending on how you want it to occur either during like for example at the beginning like for example you have it fading in and fading out is at the end where you go over to the end and you see it fading out so that is cool thing about the fading effect here other things like for example you have filters to however you want it to look like and different ways by which you can accomplish that is by just hovering and see which ones are of best fit to the style of the hourglass adjusting the color as well is one thing that you can think about when it comes to like for example fireworks you can pull that off in that sense now how about the other way by which you can introduce a text and this other way here is a hidden gem that you're going to find when you go to templates so when you go to template you scroll down and you see text overlay once you click on this voila you have some so many plethora of ways by which you can accomplish this style of text and this here usually comes into play when you're maybe introducing yourself or introducing a specific level of interest so those are the things to keep in mind some of them do have sound effects that accompanies them 
and so those are the things to be aware of when it comes to this style and let's say for example you want to pick this one and you want to click hold and drag it to whatever position you want take note here that most likely you can't accomplish that by clicking hold and dragging in this case you have to just click the plus sign and once you click on the plus sign that is on it you should be able to use the template and by doing that you click plus sign it tells you that our template because you know it's giving you a warning that is not going to be the perfect fit for your video but if you still want to go for it you go for it so add uh, the template and there it is right after the timer and so once you have that once you hit play you should be able to see some cool sound effect that is produced from this timeline over there and so once you hit play check it out whoa and you can see the intro exit you have the uh, light bulb lit and shakes so that's pretty cool to see that and that is one hidden gem that you can take advantage of when it comes to engaging your audience and so by editing it you can of course click on the specific tab of your choice and once you click on it the right side is going to be activated and once you click on the title you can change this to whatever that pleases you in this case you can write the specific head which is known in this parts to be let's say uh, universe and then you can add a body here which is you can say early stage stage and so what you see now is when you're moving your timer you should see the early stage appearing right below the universe and so those things that we talked about on the previous step still applies to this particular caption way of accomplishing that text overlay and so that is all that i have for you in terms of these ways by which you can introduce text to your videos to create that engagement and diverse ways or hidden gems that you can integrate into interestingly designing your text to your style and pleasure all the same i hope you found this really informative hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this by that way we can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves